All right, the uh, hurricane's just about, well, it's cleared out of this area. It's heading towards Louisiana now. Water's back down. I'm gonna check it out now. See if, uh, see if it's cleared out. We didn't get hit too hard by it. Not, as, not nearly as bad as everybody was expecting. But did get hit enough to make the water level go up for a while. Oh, come on. Had a bite. Oh, wow. It's a nice one. This is, might be my personal best quad, Guadalupe. There we go. They like fast moving baits, they don't like it just sitting there. I need to tighten up my drag a little bit, that thing was pulling pretty hard. Well, it was at least a, maybe I should have got a weight on him because that was, as far as Guadalupe bass go, that was pretty big. I know I get people on here trash talking me because I say something's big and it only weighs a pound. Well, you know what? One pound for a Guadalupe bass is huge. So, that might be a PB as far as quads go. I should have got a weight on it. It looks all right. It's like kind of tall grass all around me, but uh, looks pretty good here. There we go. Oh, it's another fighting one. It's a little bitty one, but it's fighting hard. Chill. This looks like a little spot. I guess it could be a guad. Yeah, I think it's a little guad, but he doesn't. his spots aren't showing like the rest of them. That's two fish already, and all I've had four or five bites, hooked two fish. All of the bites have been when I'm moving the bait quickly and giving it sharp, erratic movements. I'm just twitching the end of the rod like this, back and forth. That's all I'm doing is just wiggling the end of the rod. Quick jerks and erratic movements on the skinny Senko, and that's how I've gotten all of my bites so far. Walking these rocks here. <laughs> I slipped and spooked something. Oh come on! Oh yes! Oh man! Thought I thought I had him. Set the hook and he's still on there, but he slipped off. Oh man, I had a fish, but when I set the hook, I pulled it out of his mouth. Yeah, he pulled the worm right off. They're out here. There we go. Oh man, what do I got there? That's a nice one. I thought I was just getting small ones over here. This is a, even bigger than the one earlier. Jeez. This is just a regular largemouth though, it looks. <laughs> Hooked him good, he ain't going nowhere. That's a solid two pound fish right here. 
got to get a weight on this one. This is a good Burning through a lot of lures today. This one took the lure too. Shook it right off. Oh yeah. 2.20 exactly. 2.20. Yeah, that's just a regular largemouth. Which, largemouth are really not that common around here. There we go. You want to see these pictures there on Instagram. Try to get a good release here. There it goes. That's a nice solid fish. You don't really get too many out of the river this that big. Alright, I only got a few minutes left. I gotta be somewhere. But let's see if there's any more of those out here. Okay. Oh man, I just missed one. <laughs> Had it in his mouth, dead sticking it there. Oh come on dude. That one that one came up and pulled it right off the hook. Alright, I'm burning through a lot of these lures. I've probably gone through five and I've only landed like three fish. Not really a good ratio, but I'm getting bites. I haven't gotten snagged and lost any lures. They're all getting pulled off. So the bites are on today. Which I haven't had a day with this many bites in a long time. There we go. Oh, you... Okay. Oh, man, he came off again. Look at that. There's something mean over there. <laughs> There's like a party or something going on at one of the parks over here, and they're playing Selena real loud. So hopefully I don't have to get a copyright notice or something on this. Hopefully the camera's not picking it up. And there's something big over here that keeps biting my lures in half. There he is. Oh, man, he did it again. Are you kidding me? What is that? What is that? It's a fish. It's definitely a fish. It's not a turtle or something. But he's biting. He's snapping them off right at the hook. He's grabbing the tail of them. I really should be leaving already, but there's something over there that's just tearing up these skinny sankos and I want to see what it is got him that time that's a little one though it's not the same fish the little guad come on what are you making that kind of weird noise for oh well he's alright he swam off thought he might be injured there by those rocks but It'll be alright. Let's try it again. That was definitely not the same fish. <sighs> See, look, there we go. He got him that time. No, damn it, it's another little one. It's like the exact same size as the one I just pulled up. Alright, I'm still on that last, last bait that I'm going to use. I just pulled in two baby quads, but those are definitely not what was pulling on it. Okay, there's something big. This might be it that was getting away. It's not very, very big, but it's definitely bigger than those little ones I was just catching. Look, that's another guad. It's not as big as the one earlier, but this is a pretty good sized guad. Really nice. Nice little fat fish. And that'll be it for me for today. I'm gonna have to take off after this. Let's take a picture. Get the release.
I don't think I've ever caught this many big wads in one day. Which I know that's only like two because one was one was a large mouth, but still. Alright, now I gotta pack up and get out of here. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, these were all caught on skinny snakes today. There. Probably my number one date. Let me see. Anyway.